I'm gonna, do like a, I'm gonna do this in a part video. I might do it all in different parts. I will put all the parts in one. But what I'm gonna show you is how to add the lots, um, spectacle plate lighting in the cheap Hornby Summer Falls like these. Like they have in the world, like the red and the green shade, which has a light shines through. These Hornby Summer do not come with this. I'm not trying to show you in detail most of the stuff I'm gonna be doing to this, but I'm gonna do all this out. You need a very tiny drill bit to do it though. This have the number on it. I can't really see what the number actually says on this drill bit. Well, a really tiny one, just like that. It doesn't have a number on the drill bit, which actually we normally have a number which tells you the um, size of drill bit is, but obviously it's probably tiny because I can't see it or it's not marked. Can hold this camera now, Mum, while I just try and drill this out carefully. And what you use for the specials while I start drilling is you, use, you can get these lolly bags, um, but are kind of translucent with the lighting, and you can use the colors. You can get all, you can get all the colors you need for Summer Force um, as well. Come close to the board here. Come close with the camera. Keep trying it here. Don't get too close to the drill because I don't want to put a hole in my camera. You do that carefully. And you know when you go through, it will come up on the drill bit. Get a hole in the in the spectacle plate. That's a bit off center that one, but it will probably still work. Comes out with two holes. Next, actually, I mean, don't show this because I'm trying to do it without looking at the camera here. Now what you do because you've got the coloured specials on the front anyway. Let me just turn this bit off here. Um, you get a black sharpie and you colour it in, and it um. And it covers up those spectacles where it would where it wish was. I might just all touch up the signal while I'm at it. Yeah, nice um nice um spectacle plate. I'll come back in a short moment when I've actually figured out a way of going to the when I find my super glue. Right, the spectacles are in. All I've done I'm trying to the squares out. With a pack of these, you got a hundred of um eight of in the pack or when you buy these and they come with multiple packs of these when you buy the pack. They come with when you get one card, it comes with a hundred of these things. Um, when you buy them, and, it, and at least one bag can do like a whole layer, layer of signals, I'm telling for sure. But you see the special on the back. When I shine them through the light, it goes green and red. Um, it does work, I have done this multiple times. The only signal I have not done um, is my free arm signal, but when I do on the new layer, it will have the distance signal that's fixed with a yellow. Um, spectacle was fixed and it will stay yellow all the time in the home. Signal for the left track and and the main line home signal or section signal will be green and red. But but we're going to have to look around for a little light to put into the pole to wire up. So I'll come back to you when I find a light. Well, what I've done just now, I, um, I've just installed the LED. This is an old uh, locomotive headlight. Um, I just had to sign about and I'll show it works. Note with locomotive headlights and also any type of LED, you do have to put a resistor. Um, in between the power supply and the light. There's the LED right there. That will shine through my spectacle plate and it will light up the spectacles on these signal arms in place. I'll show that once i got it installed to the um, signal. But that's it lighting up there on 9 volts but it will work on 12 volts as well. There's the signal lining up with the spectacles. If I lift the arm, it'll show the green aspect. Um, what I do now is unsort of the resisting wires and put a resistor in and put the wires into my layout room. And I'll do that after. I'll show you. I'll do that, I'll do that tomorrow morning. But what I'll do now is just quickly unsort these old wires and I'll put the signal. But I'll attach the motor, but I won't attach the wires to the um, 
power supply, but we'll show that copy tomorrow morning, or maybe look tomorrow night when I finish it, wiring it up. But it does work, great, and that's what it's going to look like when I finish it. Well, as I was waiting for me to, moment to reboot itself, because I had to reboot it because I had an issue with it, I, I just wired in my semaphore. It looks cool. Oh, bloody signal. Um, yeah, it has that green aspect. If I put the signal back in. Yeah, it's off center. Here's the red aspect. Here's the green aspect. So that's how you add um, light into the cheap Hornby Samaphore signals. You can get Samaphores with lights already built in, like that one there had lights built on the top arm. That used to be a single arm center anyway. But the top arm used to be just, uh, it came with lights. But the cheap Hornby ones don't come with lights, but you need to modify them to have lights. I did this one with lighting. It looks awesome. Be ready to these points. Another pull 10. Miles off center, but it does go to green. So, with this one over here, this is a green aspect on it. Here's the green. Here's the red. But that's how you can do these cheap Hornby ones. When I'm um, we do my new light in the near future, this one will be um, set up that way. Where the two top arms moving to have red and green spectacles on the top red arms, the yellow one will just have a yellow aspect. We've fixed this thing because that one doesn't move. The yellow one, the yellow one is is this fixed to the arm as you can see, while the other ones actually move. This that one. And another thing, the Hornby Summerfalls ain't built for the motors I use, so the way I get them to work, I take off the original pull rod arms that come with the signal, and I'll either modify them to have use the original arms on the motors, or I take the rods off altogether, and I replace them with um, steel wire. This stuff's all chicken coop wire you can use. It works great for that, or you can use any type of wire you can get hands on, or even paper clips would work at the same thing. Well, they work great for this. I think I've got one with the original pull rod arm on it, if I remember rightly. Yeah, I do. I've got the original Hornby bell crank on that with the with the rod. If I pull it free, you'll see it move. There's a motor underneath the table. It's mounted underneath. It operates the signal arms the signals like here but two motors the double deck is stacked like that um so one does the left arm one does the right arm sty trains to what i solely put that one in those motors in and they're not an easy thing to install you can also get two different versions of them you can get the dc 12 volt 16 volt ones and the dcc logic ones i've got to use but um i'm mainly going to do the when i do this later again in the future all the dc 12 volt ones i'm going to replace with DCC logic ones, so I can use the frames to do it, and also by my mic control setup because so lever free. It's free on here, I think. No, it's not. I can't know what that is, but they, it also mic control system on these signals as well. But that but this video originally was how to put lights into the Hornby Samaphore, but, but we'll wrap up this later on. But that's how to do it on a Hornby Samaphore.